what's going on internet this is josh noel from sunduck film welcome to our channel if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button so we have a really quick tutorial on creating very easy glitch titles i'm going to break this down to a few different techniques so we can easily follow along so without wasting any more time let's jump into our tutorial and let's learn how to create awesome glitch titles all right, so here we are in our tutorial composition here. All we have in here is our title and a little bit of accent motion graphics, which I pulled this from our motion graphics starter pack, which I'll talk about later in this video. But if you want to check out over 200 presets ranging from titles, backgrounds, and accent motion graphics, I will drop the link in the description real quick. So for our first title glitch technique, we need to talk about setting up these invisible glitches without offset our graphics. So what we'll do once we have our title and everything in here, what we're going to do is go up to layer, new, solid. And I'm going to call this map. And click OK. Then we'll go to Effect, Noise and Grain, and we're going to grab Fractal Noise. And under Fractal Type, we'll set this to Max. And we'll go to Noise Type, set this to Block. Alright, I sound very automated here. So, let's come here and let's increase the contrast and then lower the brightness. And maybe like 300-ish, on, or like 250 on the contrast, and like negative 150 on the brightness is good. And then we'll open up the transform category and we'll uncheck uniform scaling and we'll increase the width. You might need to just come here and just go to like a thousand, you know, maybe past it. We'll go to like, I don't know, let's go like a thousand, that's good. And then we'll keep the height the same. All right. And then we'll open up the evolution options and we'll all click the stopwatch for random seat and we're going to type in time asterisk 10 and it's down here on the bottom. All right, cool. So then when we're done, we're going to go up to layer pre compose and we'll just call this map noise okay move all attributes into new composition click ok then we'll hide this layer and then we'll go up to layer new adjustment layer and we'll call this displace okay then let's go up to effect distort and we're gonna grab displacement map and we'll set the displacement map layer to our map noise the layer that we just pre-composed click on wrap pixels around now we have these invisible glitches within our composition and that is really cool um, and we can come here to our two uh, parameters here you can see this is the horizontal and this is the vertical um, you can kind of keep those the same or you can manipulate it a little bit more it's up to you I'm gonna go to maybe 10 on the horizontal placement and like two on the vertical um, and then one thing we might need to do is just grab our background layers and scale it in if there's any extra issues. So for our second technique, I want to talk about creating these glitch lines that kind of just pop up here really randomly um, and just add a little level of extra detail to our comp. So really easy to do this as well since we already have the effect set up. So, so since we kind of already have these lines in here, what I'm going to do is just duplicate our map noise layer, bring it to the top and turn it on. And then I want to go to our project window here and I'm going to find that composition map noise and I'm going to go to edit duplicate. So I'm going to duplicate it and then I'm going to make sure that layer is selected in our timeline and hold down alt on our keyboard and just drag the new duplicated composition over the old one. This way we'll be able to change anything here without affecting the other one. So for example, we can come into the you know, map noise two, go to the effects controls and this time I go to transform and I can adjust the height. And now we'll have you know skinnier lines and then i'll go to effect color correction curves and i'll just go ahead and increase the curves until these are like full white and that's good then we'll go back into our composition change the blend mode to screen all right now we're going to have these animated lines and that is cool but what i'll do here is grab the rectangle tool and just kind of create a rectangle mask around our title and if we have too many lines we go back in that composition and we can lower the brightness and that gives us a nice level of control of detail over our composition and that looks really cool but I don't want to have this up for the entire duration of our you know composition so what we'll do here is drag in the in point and then maybe just drag in the out point and this is where I'll just be on I can of course move this over and then what we can do is duplicate it and I can always move it over kind of offset things in time but it's a really cool technique that we can employ here just to help bring a little extra detail to our composition. All right, so before we move on to our third technique, I want to take a break in the action and just give a quick shout out to our motion graphic starter pack. So currently in this pack, we have over 225 motion graphic elements ranging from titles, accent motion graphics, and even to backgrounds. And we can easily come into our titles folder and grab you know one of the 60 plus titles that we have in here and bring into our composition. And we already have an in and out animation. We can easily change everything. And then we have our accent motion graphics, which are these graphics animating over here. And we can easily go into our motion graphics folder. I can grab a burst and I can bring this into our composition. And there is one of our accents. I can scale this down 
move it around, duplicate it. And then I could quickly offset these layers in time. And then within just a couple seconds, I've been able to spice up our title sequence with our accent motion graphics and grabbing one of the 50 backgrounds that we have in here. So maybe I'll grab this one. So within about a minute's worth of time, we've been able to build our own title sequence with a nice motion graphic background and our accent motion graphics, which brings attention to our title animations. So if you want to check out our motion graphics starter pack, that link will be in the description. And if you use the coupon code glitch15 at checkout, you'll save 15% off. So for our third technique, one thing we need to do is be able to have control of our title and be able to flicker it. So I want to be able to flicker each of these letters and that's very easy to do. So all you have to do is go to your base title layer and you'll open up your title layer and we'll go to animate, click that little play button there and then go to uh, opacity and what we'll do here is lower the opacity down to zero percent and then we'll open up range selector one and we'll open up the advanced tab and set this to randomize order to on make sure to set to on and then set the end percent down to zero percent and I'll click the stopwatch for uh, end. and we'll type in wiggle open parenthesis four comma fifty close parenthesis and that depends how fast you want that to flicker so now we have this flickering animation on our title and that is really nice. And then you can always copy the animator one and paste it to your next title if you have one. Now with our flicker animation, we've been able to animate some of our title and that looks really nice. So for our fourth technique, I want to be able to have a solid color swipe by our title, kind of just glitch it out a little bit. So we'll grab our title and we'll go up to effect generate fill. And you can change this to any color that you want. I think red is kind of a cool color, maybe a slight magenta. And we'll come here, we'll grab the rectangle tool. And all we're going to do is create this mask offside the composition like this. And we'll come where our title is about to appear on. And we'll open the mask one, we'll add a keyframe for mask path. And we'll move forward just by, you know, 15 frames or a second, depending on however fast you want this to be. And we'll grab our composition and we'll move this to the other side. Then what we need to do is go to our title layer, hit E on keyboard. To bring up the effects, go to the fill and uh, check on the plus button for compositing options. I'll actually go ahead and make this a little bit longer. So I'll stretch out that keyframe. So now you'll get this, you know, random color going by our title like that. And that is really cool. So now for our fifth technique, this would not be a complete glitch tutorial if I didn't show you how to do any RGB splitting. It's really easy to do this. What we'll do when we're done, we'll grab all of our layers, go up to layer pre-compose and I'll just call this, you know, final RGB. That's fine. Click OK. And then we'll go up to Effect Channel and we're going to grab Shift Channels. All right. For where it says green, set this to full off. Where it says blue, set to full off as well. Then grab your layer down here, duplicate it. Where it says red, full off. Where it says full off from green, set that to green. Duplicate the layer again. Where it says green, set that to full off. And where it says blue, set it back to blue. Then grab the two top layers. Make sure your blend modes are available and set this to screen. So I'll go switch to the modes if you don't see that, by the way. And then what we can do is grab, say, the bottom layer or any of the layers. Hit P on keyboard for position and you see that we can kind of just, you know, move this off position and you get this splitting. That's awesome. What we'll do is all click the stopwatch for position, type in wiggle, open parenthesis, two comma, I don't know, ten, close parenthesis. I don't want to do anything too crazy. And it's a nice, very subtle RGB. All right, and now with our final results done, we have all five of these techniques combined right into our final composition here. And this is a really nice, quick way that we can apply any of these techniques to our, you know, titles to make them glitch titles. So you can use three of these techniques, you can use one of them, you can use all of them. Use them at your own disposal. And remember, if you want to save time and have access to a full motion graphics kit, I will drop a link to our motion graphics starter pack. That link will be in the description and you can use the coupon code glitch15. So that was our tutorial creating glitch titles while employing several of our techniques to do this type of work. Hope you found this video helpful. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.